On a recent trip to Las Vegas, I was totally inspired by the colors that I saw everywhere. Bright, fun colors that were just the thing that inspired me to add a little something extra to the new IOD transfer called Desperado. We just need to paint. I'm going to show you something new. These are Debbie's DIY Bohemian Brights. We got some making powders out, some liquid patina. We're going to add some transparent, glazy kind of effects. They're a very different type of a medium. Um, they almost have a little bit of a transparency to them. Look at this. Wandering Heart. And this one is called Passionate. Adorned Chaos. These are in a clear base, and that is what gives them not only their beautiful, intense pigments, but it also is what uh, makes them a little more transparent. This one is called Spirited. Unbridled Love. Gosh, look at that. So pretty. They have a little bit of a gloss. This is the new Desperado transfer. It's got a Southwest vibe to it, but it's all black and white. I'm gonna use these black and white images kind of like a coloring book and paint right over them. I've selected these florals and the quote that is included. IOD sisters, can we have a whole transfer pad of quotes, please? Once I've fiddled and fussed a little bit and determined a layout, I'm going to apply the transfers to my board. I've prepared it in advance by painting it with Fusion Mineral Paint Casement. It has a built-in top coat, so I don't need to seal the paint before I apply my transfer. I put my uh, Desperado transfer down, and then in order to paint over a transfer, you apply a top coat over this to seal it. You want a consistent finish to apply any paints over a transfer. And now it's time to paint. I'm using water to help thin out the Bohemian Brights and then I just apply them in kind of a wash over the transfer area. There's a little bit of transparency and a little bit of a glazy effect. It was just an old board, remember? I painted it with Fusion Mineral Paint, applied my transfer, and then I put a sealer of Tough Coat over it to lay a consistent foundation on which to apply my Bohemian Brights. Can you I can boost this up with some other color um, using my making powders and um, my liquid patina. If you need to move the paint around or fix any mistakes, you need to do it quickly because these brights dry very fast. Okay, so this is passionate. I'm gonna show you what happens when we mix a little bit of the making powder into it. Um, this is Orange You Glad. But look at that, you can totally change that color. I'm just gonna bring a little bit of this corally orangey color up into here as well. I'm also going to put a little bit of this, just kind of washy around the outside, blot a little bit. This also will give this a little bit more dimension and so it won't look so transfery. <laughs> Plant Lady, just a tiny bit out. Remember, you don't need a lot of the making powders. Touch of that out. Mix these up to get some different shades of green. I promise you, promise you, oh, there must be gold on those leaves. And honey on those leaves. For an extra fun effect, I am going to put a little bit of those Bohemian Brights along the top edge of my board, then use a misting sprayer to 
get them to create little rivulets of beautiful dripping color. And of course, an extra dash of happiness with some spatters. Bohemian brights and lots of drippage. It's like colored rain, yes. But we took that plain black and white transfer and we totally made it into something very, very pretty. So there it is, you guys, the new Bohemian brights. I kind of think they're my, my favorite thing right now. Of course, we'd love it if you'd subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss another project from L&J Goods. Everything that we showed you today can be purchased oh at lnjgoods.com oh or at our brick and mortar store in Medina, oh, New York. I'm all a fluster. I wanted you to see I got a beautiful manicure. I'm telling you, my nails feel like butter. Now they really do. They feel like butter. So hoping we can get together this summer when we go to the Hamptons. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again very soon, very soon.